guys, so you have to, you know, here again, take that. So, Monster Apocalypse, go no. If I don't say it, then I won't be able to do the whole demo. It'll be all wrecked. I wonder what I'm saying. So, Monster Apocalypse, so new. That's what I want to <laughs> All right, so Monster Apocalypse is a new pre-painted plastics collectible miniatures game about giant monsters rampaging through a city and either trying to destroy the city, protect the city, save the city, abduct the city, goo the city, or some other kind of the city. <laughs> we have our giant monster. We have our giant robot. This is Defender X. This is Terracon. We're going to go through a couple of the core elements of the game before we start playing. The first one is the dice. We have our action dice here. You got some over there. The action dice are the, the main resource in the game. There's a little bit of a resource management element, which you're going to move these dice back and forth through two different dice pools as you do different things. They start in your unit pool. They're going to move to your monster pool. When you do stuff with your units, the dice go from here to your monster pool. When you do stuff with your monster, the dice come back to your unit pool. So juggling those dice back and forth is, uh, is uh, one of the tactical elements of the game, making sure that you have dice where you need the dice to be when you need the dice to be. We also have the boost dice, which are our blue ones, and the red ones are our power dice. We'll get to what those do specifically when we get to them. They all get basically progressively better in their probabilities. The white dice are basically a coin toss for a success. The next thing we'll do is we'll run through the stats. You go ahead and grab your monster there if you want to look at that one, buddy. Go ahead, monster, buddy. We're looking at the left-hand side, this one right here. We're going to run down the stats. The first stat is... The first stat is the uh, speed stat. It's kind of in an arrow right there. The next stat is the uh, defense. That's a shield. It's how hard you are to hit. Yes, I've got six and The next seven. one down is going to be the brawl. That's your clawing, biting, sorting, seven. chopping, running over with the tanking attacks. You're up close and personal stuff. The one below that is your uh, blast stat. That's your laser eyes, your heat breath, your tank cannons or missiles or whatever you got shots. The one below that's your power stat. Only the monsters have that one. And basically it's what they use to make their special attacks. They're called power attacks. That's where they pick monsters up, throw them, or crash them into buildings, push buildings down, whatever they do. And then the last one is health. Health is uh, how much health you have. A couple of things to notice. One on the blast stat, underneath it there's a little bar. That bar has a little hash in the middle of it. If the left side of the hash is filled up, you have short range. If both sides of the hash are filled up, so left and right, then you have long range. Short range is three spaces, long range is five spaces. The only other thing is the little stars with numbers. Those are boost dice. What they're saying is that that particular figure is very good at that type of attack. So they free get that many boost dice to roll every time they make that type of attack. <coughs> so those are the basic elements to roll through real quick. And uh, now we start. Now we fight. Uh, oh, we start on my left, so you get to go first. Congratulations. Yeah. First thing we're doing is bring some units onto the table. We're going to bring three. So we spend three dice. Those three dice go right over to your monster pool. And I like the uh, I like these three guys right here, so I'm going to bring them out. Units basically are there to support your monster. They're to facilitate your monster in being as awesome as he can be. They use the units to uh, to get resources and whatnot. The primary way they do this is either securing buildings or holding objectives. So when they secure a building, you have to have three guys around the building while your opponent has no guys around the building. And then you secure it. Sometimes buildings will give you... Uh, They'll give you different abilities, sometimes they just give you power, more power, less power, whatever. Different stuff like that. The objectives that we have on this table give you power dice straight up. So we're going to go for the objectives in this game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to move these three guys after our objectives. We're going to move Spike on up to here, we'll move that Spike up to there. This guy will be some cover and that guy will hold that objective for us. Whenever you move or measure any spaces in the game, you get one diagonal step. So you get one diagonal and then forward, back, left, and right only for the rest of the game. We got four dice left in our unit pool, but nothing to do. So we're going to take these and discard them to our monster pool. So our monster's got all ten of his dice when his turn comes up next turn. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Same thing over here. <laughs> we're going to bring three guys out. Do you remember which three? Yes. White ones. This, this, and this. And where do they go? Over there. This one right here. On the spot. Has to be there. 
they spawn on the on the gates. They start there. They start at the gate. Yeah, now let's switch these two. Alright, so now we're gonna go we're gonna go after some objectives there, maybe try to shoot that spiking on there. Sound like a good plan? Alright, so we're moving three guys, so three more dice. Got it. No, back one. There you go. If you're adjacent to each other, you can't shoot. And we want to shoot. So he's going to get that spot there. And where's he going to go? One more. There you go. And then he's going to take that one. All right. So now we're going to shoot with the G tank here. We're going to shoot and spike him out. Now, whenever you make an attack, you're rolling a big handful of dice. You're trying to get a number of strikes, which is these marks right here. And these are super strikes. They're worth two. You're trying to get a number of strikes equal to or greater than the defense of the target. So you only get to roll a number of dice, action dice, up to your stat. So the stat on the G-Tank is a two. So that means you get two action dice. Action dice are the white ones. And this particular G-Tank is an elite. You can tell because his name is red. And because of that, he's got a boost die on his blast as well. So he gets one boost die, one blue one. We're going to roll those dice, go ahead and pick them up, we'll roll them right into there, and we're looking to get a three. It's going to be a tough roll. I got a three. Plenty. Spikadon goes down, shot in the face by a cannon, which is what happens when a tank driver's like, there's a Spikadon in front of me, I'm going to shoot it. <coughs> so those dice come over to the monster thing. We got those two left there, we should bring them over here too. All the white ones. Now, when you take out an enemy unit, you get a power die, so you get one red die to come into this red box over here, too. And we're going to use those in just a minute, so that was a good thing. Back to you, right. Monster Phase. Powering up, like I just said, we're going to want to power up. We got one guy holding an objective, so we should use him. <coughs> so first thing to do for a power-up, you have to do a check. It's a power-up check. You spend one, two, or three action dice, and you roll them, and you're looking for one success. Remember, they're 50% each, so it's like flipping a coin, and you need heads. Oh my god. Yeah, Victory! Three. So, we've powered up successfully. I didn't cheat. I don't know what you're talking about. We got one powered eye over there. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to move up here and we're going to pick up that uh, command center and we're going to throw it at that tank. Because it looks like a, it looks like a missile and they should beat each other at high velocity. So, <laughs> we spend one to move, just like we did with the units. You get to move up to your speed, and we want to fill these four right here. That's where we want to step. So when you step the monster, it's one square for one step. Exactly. Plenty. Did you tell them about the uh, diagonal thing? Oh, yeah. So, now we're going to make a power attack called SWAT. That's where we pick this guy up and throw him with that guy. So, our power stat is a six and two boosts. So, we have our two boost die. Whenever you make a power attack, you have to roll one power die, which is why we needed that power die. And you can roll up to six action die. Might as well roll them all. Not going to do anything else with them. First roll, we're trying to hit a two. Plenty! Second roll. You roll dice in hand, it's called, and that's basically a lot of things make you roll the same dice again. Okay. We're trying to hit a four this time. As we apply command center to tank liberally. Yes. Victory for that. That's not victory for you, I'm sorry. Command center flies into the tank, they burst into a ball of flame, they leave the table, they go over there now. We destroyed two enemy units, so we get two power dice. We're out of dice, so that's our turn. Monster time! Now we don't have anybody on power spaces anymore, so we don't need to power up. Can I use this since I have that? Oh, totally. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our monster, and we're going to come over here, and we're going to body slam Terracon into a skyscraper. Okay. That sounds like a good plan to me. To show him for trying to eat the city. It's not cool. Don't eat my city. So, we're going to move six, so move six to try to get over there. That's two. That's four. Remember when you move, you go one square. Cheese go. Only one die goes.